to talk about key points for taking a good grip. First thing, the heel pad of your left hand has to be on top of the golf club grip. Common mistake, holding the club in your lifeline or only partly on the heel pad of your hand. Second important point, once you have the heel pad on top of the golf grip, you want to apply pressure with your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger. You do not apply pressure with your thumb and forefinger. Third point, you want the upper part of your hand turned over the top of your golf club grip. That means that there'll be a straight line from the front of your forearm down to the back of your hand and then it'll take roughly a 45 degree angle. So if you want to improve your left hand grip, use these three things to do that. Next, we're going to talk about the right hand grip. Hi, this is Dan Minlin here at the Spruce Creek Golf Academy and the beautiful Spruce Creek Golf and Country Club. Here I'm going to talk to you about the grip and I'm talking about uh, the right hand part of the grip. In the last lesson or the video you saw, we were talking about the left hand side. So. In the right hand side, I'm going to stand over this side. We want to grip it again in the fingers, but you can see these two, these joints are basically in the middle of your fingers right here on the right hand side of the ring and middle finger. That's what wants to go on the club and grip it that way. Next important part I want to talk about is when you put your hand on, we want to go from the side here, making sure that that thumb is going down the lifeline, you can see right there, of the right hand side of the grip. So we grip it in the fingers and go on top. So we don't want to go over, so this is a common mistake. We go, this is bad, okay? And the same thing when we grip it in the fingers, we don't want to be here. This is a common mistake we see with a lot of golfers. We want to make sure we're in the fingers, okay? That's going to give us the most leverage and the most power in the swing. And then you can grip it three different ways, uh, primarily. There's the interlocking grip. And what you do basically is with your index finger and your pinky, we interlock them together, still keep it in the fingers, not like this, okay, that's gonna put it in the palms, but just like this, okay? The overlapping grip where basically the pinky just kind of rests on the index finger of the left hand, okay? And the 10 finger grip. All are pretty much right as long as we follow those rules we just talked about. Making sure it's in the middle of your fingers, making sure we get that thumb down the lifeline. Do those things, you're gonna hit a lot more straight shots.